hey, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. So today I'm going to make a tuna salad melt with Good Catch Foods tuna, fish-free tuna. So this is, I think, a relatively new product. I happen to know Chad Sarno. I don't know his brother, Derek. I met Chad a few years ago at the Natural Products Expo West in Anaheim, California. A uh, super nice guy. Um, and he and his brother are the chefs behind this line of products from Good Catch Foods. So what I'm gonna do today um, is make a tuna melt. Um, I've got the ingredients out here already. While it's melting, I'm gonna tell you a few more stories about uh, why we don't eat fish, why vegans don't eat fish, why fish is meat, why uh, fish are sentient creatures who deserve to live. So the thing is, I've never tried this. So this is new to me. I'm hoping I love it because you're about to watch me do this live. Um, so here goes, uh, beautiful packaging. This is the one that's not packed in oil. Uh, there's other flavors that are packed in oil that have um, different seasonings. This one's just called Naked in Water, which is actually how I like to be in water. Uh, otherwise my trunks get all full of air. So um, it says real seafood taste, chunk albacore texture, contains 350 milligrams of DHA because every day I wake up and wonder where I'm gonna get my DHA and it's high in protein because of course all of us vegans are dying from a lack of protein. So inside this pouch is the tuna, fish-free tuna, and it looks and smells exactly like tuna. So I'm gonna put it in my bowl, I'm hoping it comes out, yep. It's actually um, freakishly real looking right now. Um, so if you love tuna, I can already tell you you're going to love this product. Uh, Fish Free Tuna from Good Catch Food. So here you can see, let me get a fork, uh, show you some of the texture. Here you can see exactly um, what this looks like. Uh, it looks exactly like tuna, uh, real tuna from a real fish, but this contains no fish, contains no animals, contains no dairy, eggs, uh, or honey. So I'm going to give this a bite before I make the melt because I'm just dying to know what it tastes like. I didn't, I didn't think I was going to do this, but it looks so damn good. I have to try it. Oh my God, it's amazing. So um, texture is exactly like tuna. Flavor is 95% there. It's really delicious. Um, in fact, I think it hits all of the, the tuna notes, whatever that, you know, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish notes. Um, it's delicious. So already it's really great. So what I'm gonna do today is add um, vegan mayo, which I have here in my bowl, because pretty much everything I do, uh, I look for an excuse to eat mayonnaise. So I'm mixing the, the tuna, in with the mayo. So right there, we already have a nice uh, tuna salad. Uh, the portion isn't huge. So that's something to think about. I was going to make two sandwiches or two melts. Um, I might make a big, a single one that's bigger, but we'll see. Put those aside for a second. So I have red onion. I would normally use red onion because I like the crunch, but I also had some leftover green onions. So these will be nice for flavor, a little bit of texture. Just gonna chop those up with some fresh parsley. I have a parsley plant in my kitchen, so I love being able to use fresh herbs right from my indoor garden. So here we have adding the green onion and parsley to the tuna salad. Mix that up a little bit. Add nice color. There, again, you can see how much this looks like tuna salad. Um, as with pretty much anything you cook, you're gonna to wanna to add a little bit of pepper and a tiny bit of salt. Uh, I don't think this recipe or this food necessarily calls for salt, but put a little bit in. All right, so now we've got salt, pepper, green onion, parsley, and the good catch tuna, fish-free tuna added in here. So I'm gonna put a good sized blob on one piece of bread to see how big it is. Yeah, I'm only gonna get one out of this, at least in terms of how I like my tuna melts. That's good. I used to love eating tuna, so it's nice to know that authentic tasting tuna is added back to my diet. So here you can see tuna salad on bread. Now I'm gonna add 
best cheese in the world. BioLife makes the most incredible range of cheeses. This is their cheddar shreds. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some cheddar shreds on top of our tuna salad on the top of our bread. Maybe put a little more pepper on top. All right, so here you go. Here's what's gonna go into the toaster oven, only because I can't put it in my air fryer. So I put it in the toaster oven on broil for just a few minutes while we talk a little bit more about fish. So fish are sentient, feeling, intelligent, social creatures. Um, they range from teeny tiny guppies and smaller up to uh, whale sharks, which are massive. So um, they're not food. Animals aren't food. Uh, you shouldn't eat fish. In fact, um, even if you sort of try to validate your diet by saying you're pescatarian or you only eat farm-raised or ethically sourced or any of those marketing buzzwords to help you deal with your guilty conscience, um, fish aren't food. So uh, I urge you right now to go to cok.net forward slash fish farm to see a recent investigation uh, conducted by Compassion Over Killing where they uh, had an undercover, a brave undercover investigator at a fish farm in Maine, um, undercovering, <laughs> discovering, and uh, uh, shedding light on the atrocities that take place uh, at what might be considered a humane fish farm. Um, it's absolutely disgusting, the conditions uh, in which these fish are subjected. Um, that, again, carry over to the dinner plates. So if you think you're eating healthier because you're eating fish, you're really not. Uh, there's a million reasons why fish is terrible for you. And there's a million reasons why something like uh, Good Catch Food line, there's other uh, faux fishes out there, um, is actually really good for you. So I urge you to check out these products. Check out Good Catch Food, uh, Ocean Hugger. There's a couple of more. Um, I mean, obviously, you just type in Sophie's Kitchen has some really cool products. Uh, type in vegan fish options, and you'll see uh, there are ways in which you can make it at home, uh, homemade versions of some of your favorite fish food, fish food, uh, fish recipes. Uh, but also some incredible products. So check out Good Catch Foods. I got this at my Wegmans. Um, the tuna melt is in the background melting. Um, make sure you check it out on Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter and Facebook. I'll probably post a photo of this, uh, provided it looks as beautiful as I hope it does. So um, this is my video for today's uh, cooking class, how to make a vegan tuna melt using a uh, fish-free tuna from Good Catch Foods, plant-made, chef-master. So congratulations to the Sarno brothers. Uh, again, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Subscribe to this channel and go vegan.